Hi guys, welcome to Pit Stop. So today we have the all new Hornet 2.0 with us and if you take a look there are so many changes with this new bike and that's what we are going to ride today and uh, this will be very special just because uh, it doesn't get just ex exterior changes it also come with a powerful engine. So in the BS6 Avadar the Hornet 2.0 looks smashing in my opinion so we are going to talk about this today and we are going to ride this today so stay tuned before that please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications and please follow us on Facebook Twitter and Instagram this is the Hornet 2.0 so I'll take you through a quick walk around video first so first thing is that let me just talk about the styling so the styling part the Hornet 2.0 looks even more aggressive from that compared to the old hornet i would say so I'll, I'll start from the back actually look at the sari guard design it looks like it comes in a fiber material so it looks a bit sporty because usually in all the bikes the sari guard will give a pretty old look but actually in the hornet 2.0 this looks like a sporty element uh, in my opinion that is one thing and from the rear if you ask you get led indicators led tail lamps and a 140 section rear super wide tires and uh, that definitely will give you a sporty feel when you are driving so other than that we are getting a mono shock here you can see that's painted on red here we have a 2.0 badging and hornet with stickers this is the red color and here we have a black carbon fiber sort of element and the speciality of the hornet is that the key comes right on the tank and not on the handlebars that is the one of the biggest speciality and here we get an all digital instrument cluster with liquid display which shows the time speed rpm and you also get gear indicators to be very precise and what is special other than that is that you get hazard lights option so if you put it this way you get LED uh, indicators turned on like hazard lights will be turned on that is another thing engine kill switch here and uh, nice large back view mirrors so uh, coming to the front part you get LED headlamps which looks very sporty I should say it looks like very sharp actually uh, Hornet and uh, Xblade if you take a closer look both bikes looks uh, pretty similar but still you can find it out because you get uh, first in segment USD golden USD Fox which is painted in golden shade so this is the biggest difference actually even though uh, the Xblade and the Hornet 2.0 looks little bit similar in styling the golden USD Fox will help you understand that this is the more powerful Hornet 2.0 and that is the X-Blade so here we have an Honda badging in chrome so that's all about the Hornet from the exterior every element of the bike looks sporty in my opinion actually you take a look at the alloy wheels alloy wheels are looking nice and uh, we get single channel ABS with front and back disc brakes so talking about the engine we have uh, a new four stroke single cylinder 184 cc engine and uh, earlier it was carbureted now it is fuel injected engine and uh, you can expect honda level of refinement for this engine actually so uh, it, it comes with a maximum power output of 12.7 kilowatt at 8500 rpm and 16.1 newton meters at 6000 rpm so uh, the fuel system is as i told it's uh, fuel injection and uh, it's a five speed manual gearbox mated to this engine so actually compared to the old hornet the new engine is even more powerful so other than the engine what is so special is that these seats the seats are super comfortable actually uh, the cushion is very good and uh, very sporty split seats actually if you take a closer look the difference is pretty big uh, i hope you can see that and we have get nice grab handles here Calling all the shots, boy. Raw denim, five pockets, feeling like a hot boy. Y'all tripping, I was in the crib watching Top Boy. Chopping up this green, guess I got a thing for bok choy. Ain't worried about your playlist, bruh. 
first ride impression is that the bike feels very much easy to handle because of the light weight it just weighs 142 kilograms and because of that it feels very light to handle inside the city especially because i was riding it inside the city during my first ride impression and uh, uh, it is pretty easy to handle that is the main thing and second thing is that the seat offers a very decent comfort even not only for the rider but also for the pillion rider because in other sports bikes or naked sports bike uh, the pillion rider will be sitting in a very awkward position and uh, they will not feel comfortable at all when the bike is on the move but uh, on the Hornet 2.0 it feels very much light and as also because of the seating comfort uh, the pillion rider will be equally comfortable is what I feel second thing is that you have enough power on tap uh, for quick overtakes and uh, for highway mile munching you have enough power on tap and uh, with 8500 rpm red line you can really play around with the rev range and it feels fun to ride this bike actually and the other thing is that the handlebar position and the sitting position is pretty comfortable for me as a six foot rider the usd forks and also the rear monoshock suspension takes away road undulations with pretty nice and uh, even though i was riding like a bit uh, you know off the path and uh, it was carrying the road relations pretty nice and i was not feeling any kind of discomfort at all so it's like a proper proper commuter bike uh, which gives you lots of fun to ride around the city is what i feel about the hornet 2.0 you have enough power on tap you have enough fun when you are you know when you require a quick overtake or when you want to you know go for a small ride this bike feels very much light and you know handy is what i feel of course we'll i'll have to ride it for a longer distance to give you a a proper proper verdict uh, like regarding the uh, you know proper ride, ride impressions and other than that what i feel is that when you go on higher speeds because of the light weight the bike might feel a little bit you know uh, not so uh, planted onto the road is what i feel other than that i am pretty impressed with the all new hornet 2.0 Hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, the ride review of the Hornet 2.0 and the prices for the 2.0 starts at 1.3 lakh ex showroom and uh, overall I really like the styling and overall I really like the handling part. Uh, so this is our short drive review with the Honda Hornet 2.0 and what you can expect from the Hornet 2.0 is Honda's level of refinement. The main competition for this bike is the NS200 and the Duke 200 as well but uh, this level of uh, you know refinement and this level of quality if you want in any sort of bike then hornet 2.0 is the bike for you and uh, that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the review and uh, kindly subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon and please follow us on facebook twitter and instagram i'll see you with another video thank you so much bye bye